Are you looking for a fast hosting provider at an affordable price? Well, in this A2 hosting review, I'm going to go through everything that you need to know about A2 hosting to decide if they're the right hosting provider for you. I'm not going to waste your time with fluff content here. Instead, I'm going to provide you value with the most important results from my live tests like their page load speed, uptime and customer support quality. I will also show you a live demo so you essentially get to try out A2 hosting without having to purchase it for yourself. And lastly, I will provide you with my overall honest recommendation on if or who should purchase A2 hosting. I will have a special bonus offer for you if you decide to purchase A2 hosting through my special discounted link in the description below. I also have a free checklist on starting a successful blog for everyone. So stick with me to the end and I'll show you how to get access to this bonus. But for now, let's get straight into the review. Right away from their homepage, you can see it looks easy enough to navigate, but they do not have a fancy interface like SiteGround or Bluehost. I am not saying those are better, it just comes down to personal preference on what you like better. By utilizing the trusty old cPanel interface, A2 Hosting is able to provide you with an easy one-click WordPress installation. Everything you need to manage your website can easily be accessed by clicking on the cPanel login button. And if you have used cPanel before, all of the options here should be very familiar to you as A2 Hosting uses the industry standard default setup. Now let's see how easy it is to do some of the tasks on cPanel. So I'm going to try and install an SSL certificate. So we come down to the SSL section, click on the SSL status, choose our domain name, select all and run auto SSL. And that's it. It now shows that all our domains have been validated. So I'm going to set up an email address now and see how that goes. So I come down to the email section. So you just click on create, put a username in, put your password in, and then click on create. Okay, so you can see our email account has been created. It's that simple. Overall, I would score A2 hosting a 7 out of 10 for setup and ease of use. Like I said, this is due to personal taste, but I think SiteGround and Bluehost has a cleaner looking interface. But A2 hosting is still easy enough to navigate. So after I have installed the basic WordPress site, I went ahead and tested out the speed of the bare bones website using GT metrics. The result was that the fully loaded time of my website was 0.8 seconds. This is super fast and is showing great promise considering I have not done any speed optimization on this website yet. So now I would take it a step further and add some design elements to it to increase the page size. And don't worry if you're overwhelmed looking at this, my course that I will provide you for supporting the channel will guide you through this step by step. Next, I'm also going to configure some basic settings on their A2 optimized plugin and install Cloudflare. This will make it more comparable to what you would do in real life. And now, as you can see, the speed is now 1.8 seconds, which is really great. Google recommends a site to be under three seconds, so this is an easy pass. Lastly, I wanted to test out their turbo plans and see how fast their premium plan really is and if it's faster than just installing a free speed optimization plugin. So now I'm going to deactivate A2 Optimize and see what the load speed will be. The new speed is now 2.3 seconds, which is half a second slower, so it's not bad, but I would say there is enough of a difference here for their turbo plan to be worth the extra money, but only when you have enough traffic coming in. At the beginning, I wouldn't worry about it and would just buy their startup or drive plan. Now, I have also been monitoring the stability performance of A2 hosting with Uptime Robot and can report that their uptime for the last 30 days is 99.988%. This result puts them right up there with the best and they easily pass the industry standard minimum of 99.9%, which is also the equivalent of A2 hosting's uptime commitment guarantee. Overall, I would rate A2 hosting speed and uptime performance a 9 out of 10 as you can't really fault them here on anything and their speed is lightning fast and is one of the best I have tested for shared hosting. Just a minor deduction on not having 100% perfect uptime. Here's a quick question for you. 
Do you think A2 Hosting's page load speed of 1.8 seconds is faster or slower than what you expected? Let me know in the comments section below. A2 Hosting's Guru Crew customer service team is highly rated, so I will test them out by asking them these three different questions on live chat. One, I will tell them that I have been infected by a virus on my website and ask for their help. Two, I ask them a quick question about how they back up our site. And three, I ask them if they could do me a favor and install an SSL certificate and Cloudflare for me for free as I am a complete newbie and have no idea how to do this. Here are the results. Question one, they told me they can do a scan and help restore the previous version, which was not infected. However, they can't promise to remove the malware one by one for free. This was still an okay outcome as they were still willing to help. For question two, they were able to resolve my query in three minutes and that includes the wait time. Not bad at all, I think. Lastly, it took some convincing on live chat, but in the end, they agreed to help me fully install and set up my site as a one-time offer, which was really nice of them and no hosting provider really do this for you. Oh, and quickly, just so you know, you can also contact them via email or phone call if you prefer that over live chat, and they are available 24-7 to help you out. With regards to their response time, I contacted them at these three different times of the day to make sure I get an overall average and not just a biased, fast response time during their off-peak hours. So the three wait times were 2 minutes and 25 seconds, 2 minutes and 8 minutes and 6 seconds. So that averages out to be around 3.5 minutes wait, which is not bad at all. I think anything under 5 minutes is acceptable. So overall, I would say their support was great and I would score them an 8 out of 10. This support team was friendly and willing to help to a certain extent and they had a decent response time even during their peak hours. I just took a couple of points off them as it took some convincing for them to install the SSL certificate and Cloudflare for me for free. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing in my review so far? If so, just let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content that I'll be releasing every week. So you can click on the link in the description below or type in .com.com slash go slash A2 where it will take you to A2 Hosting's pricing page of the best deal currently available. Full transparency, this is an affiliate link and I will make a small commission if you buy through my link at no extra cost to you and you will be helping support the channel along the way so I can bring you more free quality content like this. Plus you will get a bonus free WordPress for beginners course from me. So it's a win-win situation for the both of us. Now from the A2 hosting page, you'd click on get started to check out their plans. I will be comparing their shared hosting plan, although A2 hosting also have other types of hosting like VPS hosting or dedicated hosting so they can support you when you are ready for an upgrade. And automatic backups is not included. The next three plans will provide you with unlimited everything and the automatic backup is also included. The only difference here is the speed. The Turbo Boost and the Turbo Max is much faster than the startup and drive plans due to A2 adopting the newest storage technology that supersedes the previous HDD and SSD storage. This latest technology is called Non-Volatile Memory Express or NVMe for short. What a cool name with a double meaning, don't you think? NVMe storage will provide you with higher performance and speed and it is also more energy efficient. One of these servers can cost around $4,000 to $6,000 each, so you are getting to use top quality enterprise product at an affordable monthly hosting plan. Not many other companies have this option available yet, so this is really to A2 Hosting's advantage if you buy the Turbo plans. So to run my tests, I'm going to be choosing the Turbo Max plan. I'm going all out. Click on Get Turbo Max. Now the first step is to choose a domain name. So I've typed in a random one and just click check. You can see here it's going to cost $14.95 per month. I really don't suggest you buy your domain name from any hosting provider as they usually charge you this 10 to $15 for the domain name but they will also add in a hidden cost for the domain privacy of another 10 to $15. So overall you have to fork out up to $30 a year for a domain name. Other reviewers won't tell you about this disadvantage but I just wanted to be upfront and honest. What I recommend you do is buy all your domain names from Namecheap.com. 
I use them for all my domains and you can get your domain name for under $10 with domain privacy included for free. You can watch this video here if you want a guide on how to buy your domain name from Namecheap. So now I'm going to choose I will use my existing domain and update my name servers. And you just type in any domain name .com and click use. Now we can see the total price for three years on their Turbo Max plan has been discounted from $900 to $540. A2 hosting also comes with very flexible monthly, 12 month, 24 and 36 month payment plans. Obviously the longer the deal, the cheaper it gets. Generally I would always suggest you to buy the 36 month plan as you get the cheapest price and you will have no reason to leave once you have picked a great hosting provider. Next, we can see A2 Hosting has data centers in four different locations, which is really great for global site speed performance. My advice is to choose Arizona, which is on the west coast of USA, if you have a global website. However, if you have a local website, then it is best to choose the data center that is closest to your country. Now the free SSL certificate is fine, it is not necessary to pay extra for that and I would definitely not choose to upgrade. Now we scroll down a little bit further and you can see we keep all of these as none. We don't need to pay extra for any of them and it is not necessary. And now we scroll down and in this last option for the auto install application, we will select none also as we don't want to use our username as admin because this is not best practice for security purposes. We can easily create it manually later. Now we will click continue and click on checkout. And now I'll fill out all my personal details and add your credit card details, agree with their terms and then click complete order. And now the order is confirmed so we can continue the client area. The overall pricing score I would give A2 Hosting is a 9 out of 10. I took one mark off as their Turbo Max plan is not cheap at $15 per month for a shared hosting. However, their low tier options are comparable to other cheaper hosting providers like Bluehost and they also have options that most of their competitors don't have and that is the new NVMe servers which should provide their customers with a much better performance. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to grab A2 Hosting through my link, then just send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll send you access to my bonus course right away. It's that easy. Also, if you want my free checklist on starting a successful blog, then just go to this link in the description below and you get access to it. Recommendation. Overall, I have given A2 Hosting an average score of 8.5 out of 10. They really are one of the best shared hosting providers I have tested. They have great speeds, the price is cheap, and the overall support is also top notch. You just can't beat that perfect combination. So this is my recommendation for you. Whether you're a beginner or advanced user looking for the best overall shared hosting provider, I believe A2 Hosting is a very worthy option that I think you should really consider. However, if you're looking for an easier to use interface compared to cPanel, then I don't think A2 Hosting is the right option for you. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider is such a crucial step in your business, so it's important to get it right. And if after watching this review video, you think A2 Hosting is not the right hosting provider for you, then I recommend you check out this hosting alternative, which I'm sure will do the job. But if you're happy with A2 Hosting, then go to this video, and I'll see you over in that next tutorial.